remember like share subscribe yeah you know what i'm gonna tell you Only over time, we never did assert and go out and define with border. And that's the problem where we are faced now. So other people are come define with border for we. How you that feel if every day your neighbor get up and tell us, yes, yeah, sir, you're a border? Yeah, yeah, so what right him have to tell you that? Meanwhile, Jamaica's Minister of National Security, Dr. Horace Chang, is commending the actions of the police officers who were confronted by the group of Maroon men. He says, to his knowledge, there's no such thing as Maroon land. The, re the reason for being with you is to honor and remember that firm treaty that my predecessors made with you 281 years ago. Yes, there were times when we broke our promises. Some of you were sent to Nova Scotia, to Liberia, but the memory lingers on. And in this world today, we should remind ourselves of the sanctity of treaties between sovereign nations. And we should never forget that when one country gives its bond to another, people are watching, history is watching, and we have to remember every divergence from that. Greetings. I'm Chief Richard Curry, duly elected leader of the indigenous Maroon people of the cockpit country. I'm a humble countryman, raised in rural Jamaica, among a unique set of tribal people residing in the hills of the cockpit country. My people bravely defended Jamaica against colonization and defended the right of Aboriginal people in Jamaica to govern ourselves and our own land in Jamaica land we love. I've never been a criminal or involved in any kind of violent activity nor organized crime. I'm not a gang member, and there are no gangs in my territory. I'm a bloodline descendant of the island's first people. I'm proud to say that I hold their traditions of independence, freedom, and self-sufficiency. This land of my people is ours, and ours alone. Our ancestors fought bitterly from the time of the Spanish up until 1738 to defend this land and we will never stop defending it and we will never stop honoring the ways of our ancestors and the sacrifices that they made to ensure that we had a place to call home. This was not land we begged for. And this was not land that King George II gave to us, but rather land that we have possessed since prehistoric times. Yes, many people did come from faraway lands to join our ranks. But the first people to be called Maroon are the people today known as Arawaks or Tainos the first people of the Antilles. Our rights are creator given, not man-made. Freedom is our culture. Self-governance is our culture. Sovereignty is our culture. Not just singing, not just dancing. The Maroons are not clowns. We're not entertainment for tourists. We are a distinct people with a living history, and we will do our utmost best to protect the inheritance of our ancestors that they left for us. As a duly elected representative of my people, I am also charged to be their protector and defender, to lead them fearlessly in the face of adversity, and to be the first in line of defense of their rights. When the Maroons are in need, they do not seek first to call 911 or 119 or any string of numbers. They call their chief. The members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force and the members of the Firearm Licenses Authority 
are not elected by my people. I am. In the cockpit country, we believe in democracy and the political freedom of the people. Therefore, I must inform the entire Jamaican public that I do not seek permission to defend my people. It is my duty to defend my people. And it should be the duty of any leader to do the same. We are no longer in a time of bows and arrows and spears and slingshots. We're in a time of modern warfare, guns, bombs, and all manner of weaponry. I unequivocally reserve my right to defend my people using modern means as this is my right. I do not seek permission to execute it. The protection of my people and their property is my fiduciary duty. And there is no power on earth, temporal or spiritual, that can separate me from my duty and my undying love for my people. I urge the government of Jamaica to keep the peace and to allow me to look after my people in peace and to allow my people to live comfortably in their ancestral homeland as we trouble no one and deprive no one of their rights by doing so. Thank you very much. Indigenous people in Bania, son of land. You understand? This is how our ancestors them fight for and left for it. You understand? Never come with a title. You understand? For we land bad and left. You just from house to house. Only over time. We never did assert and go out and define with border. And that's the problem where we are faced now. So other people are come define with border for we. How you that feel if every day your neighbor get up and tell us, yes, yeah, sir, you're a border? Yeah, yeah, so what right him have to tell you that? Yeah. We know our border, we know our land, right? But we have to stand up and fight for that. Because if we don't stand up and make it known, so we're there the same way. Yeah. Don't tell me that Maroon don't live no more. Yeah. Maroon dead. Yeah. Maroon yeah. no owner. Yeah. 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 No, he's not going to go. Because we're there.